Hello, YouTube. So, I'm downstairs in my basement again, at the workbench, uh, at the other end of my laundry room. <laughs> and, uh, well, as of recently, this is pretty much where uh, things have been coming to, uh, I guess you could say, die. I've been taking, uh, I I've just been using this as a very uh, quick repair uh, bench as of yet for uh, LCD panels, uh, their uh, analog boards and such, and the inverter boards, but uh, I haven't uh, really done a video down here in a long time. I could probably say that this is the first video I've done down here in uh, quite a few months. The last time that I was down here I had uh, the Antec case with the Athlon XP box in it. Uh, the, the Athlon XP board. So, that was pretty much it. As you can see, it's pretty much a mess. And uh, that's as such for a few reasons. Uh, here's this little uh, ECS board that I have. K7 SEM. This is a... It's got a soldered on uh, Duron 900 on it or something. Or something like that. Good board, but... Uh, it stopped posting, so I pretty much uh, started ripping off some capacitors uh, with the soldering iron and uh, the braid, you know. So, because I've been doing that, and I've also got a couple other boards over here that I've been taking capacitors off. You can see that there's uh, quite a lot of good capacitors there that I could just uh, start ripping off and uh, uh, keeping. I want to get some of these uh, boards. I have a box full of these boards. I just want to get rid of them. So, up here in the cabinet, I have a little box here that I just started filling up. You can see I've got uh, just a few capacitors in here yet. Got some, uh, what do we got here? Got some 6.3 3300s, which I am never going to find a use for other than a for the board. I got a 25 volt 1000 uh, microfarad here. Don't know what I'm going to use that for, but it's, uh, looks like it's, uh, Ooh, we got Marcon, Marcon. I have no clue. These guys right here, are these these guys are like OSTs or something. The the six point threes, they came straight off of the uh, ECS board. So I can say that they're probably cheapos, but hey, they're uh, good for the moment. What else we got in here? I got a couple of these guys, and I got quite a couple of these older ones. These are a couple older uh, these right here. Got a couple uh, older Nichicons from about, oh, did they look to be about, oh, 10 years old at least. But I did put one on a, on an analog board and it is holding, so uh, I don't know for how long. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, I did put also one, I put one of those on uh, a ViewSonic board upstairs I really should do a video on because that's the first one that in a long time that's actually just worked for me. I'm still having some uh, uh, issues. I'm hoping that the, that the better light down here, uh, despite the little bit of flicker that I myself can see, see marked capacitors, uh, is going to help. But one of the things that I wanted to do uh, while I was down here was actually, uh, ooh, what do we got here? Oh, this is a bad one. You can see I marked it. I marked them with an X, and I just uh, for. I guess I'll have some uh, capacitor popcorn later or something, if I decide to. I've been getting uh, getting, getting kind of a few of these around and really don't know what to do with. Oh, we got, we got more. This one's one that I haven't marked, but you can t definitely tell if there's a bulge in it. If I can just get it to damn focus. You can definitely tell there's a bulge in that, though. If you take a look, there's definitely a bulge. Alright, well, the, the main reason I came down here was because the lighting was better and I wanted to do an actual good video on something that I did about a month ago. Uh, this guy. This is my Gateway E265M that I picked up for 20 bucks at a yard sale. Uh, I really wanted to, to just do a, a clean video because the one that I, that I did last month was really dark and it was using I, I guess a really crappy camera which it really is I just wanted to get an actual good video in so let's see what I can do here Ooh, excuse the yawns I'm still a little low on caffeine alright so this is the inside of the unit you can tell there's 
a lot of crap on the, uh, the the panel. I really need to clean that up with some Windex. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. But uh, I usually only clean it only clean it once every few weeks because uh, you can barely tell in the light that, that it's even doing anything while it's on. Uh, this is a 14.1 inch uh, 1280 by 800 matte panel. The other option for this laptop was a 1280 by 800 uh, glossy panel, which they called ultra bright or something or max bright or some some sort of ultra bright thing. And it, it although it's good and it's probably better in terms of crispness, it's in, in terms of the the, the crispness of the, uh, the the pixels. It's not too good in the light. This is a little bit better in the light, and I prefer matte to glossy any day. Uh, the keys have some sort of a UV coating on them, so I'm never going to have uh, uh, shiny keys with this keyboard, which I really like, because shiny keys make uh, laptops look uh, really sloppy, and this makes it look a lot newer on the inside. Uh, the trackpad does not have the same coating, sadly. It's a Synaptics trackpad, uh, and the latest drivers do work with it. Uh, I do have the scrolling function here. I do have that enabled because I, I do use that a little bit because uh, even though page up and page down are kind of in a convenient location, I'm used to with the X120e having the page up page down over here and it's just too much so I have just that scrolling thing uh, on. And because it has a little bump there, uh, it's a problem for me. But you can see the trackpad does have some wear on it. Not only from me but also from the previous owner. It's not quite there that you can really tell uh, looking uh, at it from a distance but looking directly at it in front of it you can definitely tell there's some uh, wear there. Uh, there's also this little button here. This brings up the Windows Mobility Center in Windows 7. And ooh, that was after I installed some sort of silly driver for Vista 64 which it does not have it as 764. Um, now it just does it by default, even with the the, the crap utility uninstalled. Uh, right here, you've got a, a little LED display. This gives you all your uh, stuff. So I would have like hard drive and battery life, and there's also a pink one for the optical bay. Uh, over in here, you've got two light, two LEDs, one. Come on, focus, focus got one here, this one's for recharging, when it charges it turns pink, which sort of makes sense because this is a Centrino laptop, uh, well, Centrino platform, it's a Santa Rosa, it's one of the first ones, and right over here, which I don't you know if you can really see, but there is actually an LED there, that's for the power on. Uh, the power button here also lights up, there's four LEDs, one, two, three, four, underneath the button that light it up. Uh, seems kind of wasteful to me, but hey. Uh, that's how they did it. But keyboard has really nice tactile feedback. Uh, there's not a whole lot of bounce to them that much, but you can definitely tell, and it, it feels great. Just to be completely honest, it feels great. My only gripe, my only gripe with this keyboard is the uh, position of FN and control. You can switch these out. This is hardwired into the keyboard itself. I would have to take the keyboard completely apart and uh, fix the traces and uh, take some uh, uh, conductive pen and uh, redraw the traces for these. If I wanted to re, uh, if I wanted to switch them out, uh, someone did it. I saw it in a form. It's just really horrible. Uh, it, it's really crude, and I really don't want to take apart this very nice keyboard, which is really, really, I just love it, uh, and just ruin it like that. Uh, it does have your usual FN stuff for numbers and stuff, all that stuff, yeah. Uh, the speakers are semi-mediocre, they'll work, they work fine, they're not tinny, but, uh, they are, uh, subpar, so, let's leave it at that. Uh, on top of the unit, there's a gateway thing, it has a few scratches and, uh, and stuff from, uh, normal wear, wear and tear. Uh, you got some, uh, the vents here. This one is for, uh, I guess this is over the memory. That's over the memory. This one's over the fan. Uh, 
on the left and right side around the fan here, I do have a couple of pieces of foam or something to keep it down. It sort of helps with the uh, the pressure of the thing. And over here, underneath here, is the hard drive. Uh, the hard drive I did replace. It's a one terabyte uh, Samsung SpinPoint M8. Uh, I guess it would be more appropriate to call it a Samsung gate for or uh, applicable, I guess, because uh, Seagate is the one manufacturing them now, not Samsung. However, they are still using the Samsung technology. There is a new hard drive that uh, Seagate released that's using the Samsung technology as well. It looks the exact same outside. It just has a Seagate logo on it, and it has Seagate box and stuff. Over here, you can see the uh, online support and stuff. There's my LAN, Mac, and all that crap. There you go. Have some fun with that, okay? Uh, up here is the uh, thing, and I did write my name on it because of usual crap, and I do take this to, with me to work and stuff. Under here, you have a mini PCI Express slot, which is unused. Over here... Uh, right next to the hard drive end, you have the mini PCI Express uh, slot where the uh, wireless card is. In there I have, as of a couple days ago, an Intel 4965AGN. Uh, for the CPU, I just got in this morning, uh, is a Core 2 Duo Mobile uh, T6570, which is 2.1 GHz, has an 800 MHz frontside bus, and has 2 megs of cache. I did have a T8100 in here a little while ago, and the chip was faulty, so it was making my uh, my uh, my cursor go all over the place uh, when I was doing stuff. And it, I did track it down, and it was chip because I did try other chips, and I never had a problem with any of them except for that one. So, oh well, that's 11 bucks I'm never gonna see again, and it's past the warranty date. So let's get this booted up. Uh, I did do something, uh, pretty fun with this. I did look up and I did find out that because I had a Phoenix BIOS, I could use a Phoenix BIOS editor and change the boot splash. So, let me show you that right now, if it loads. There we go! Look at that. That's just great, isn't it? I did that all by myself. Uh-huh. I'm feeling so proud of myself. <laughs> no. I'm just resuming Windows because I did put it to sleep. So, you go over here and type in my password, like the idiot that I am, and boom, there's my desktop. And Black Rock Shooter wallpaper, hooray. Just because. Okay. I can't, uh, now I can't, uh, confirm or deny that I paid for this, uh, copy of Windows because, uh, pirating is bad, ha ha ha, so, but yeah, you can see there, I have T6570, 2.1 gigahertz, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, I have Windows 7, uh, Service Pack 1, 64-bit installed on here, uh, all that stuff. Ooh, online support. I wonder what online support brings me to. Now that's just funny. That is just funny. Online support. There you go. Okay. Uh, let me bring up I could do a CPU-Z, but I'd rather do, uh, where is it, Hardware Info 64. So, let me go ahead and install that, and start that. I don't care about updates right now. Here you go. With the sides to focus, there we go. You can see some information about my lap, my uh, CPU here. So SLGLL is the uh, is the actual model of it. You can see all the stuff it has: SSSC three, SSC three, SSC two, SSC, SSC four point one, which is the big thing that I wanted. It has virtualization and uh, thermal monitors and crap. That's really what I wanted. CPU status. Yeah, I'm at twelve hundred. It's uh, throttling all over the place right now. Uh, and here's the 
Intel graphics. It's sort of alright. It, it works. I have no problems with it. There's supposedly a better driver that I could be using for the uh, Intel graphics, but it's only for 32-bit because 64-bit uh, you need a signed driver in order for it to load. And I don't have any signed... Uh, nobody wants to sign the drivers. Uh, the battery is 5 years old. It has 36% wear on it, which I find amazing that it's lasted that long. There is a battery recalibration uh, thing in the BIOS that I can use. I haven't really decided if I wanted to use it yet, but it's supposed to be better for it. I don't know. Uh, regardless, let's take a look at the drives here. I do have a DVD drive in here that I put in myself. Uh, I just switched the plate out and now it's a DVD burner. I have no drives there. I have nothing there. Here we go. It just calls itself a gateway. It's really an E265M motherboard. Uh, it's also uh, shared with the E475M. So, there you go. It's got an ICH8. And for sound, it does have a connection. Uh, uh, it has, like, I don't know, it's not connecting. It's a uh, uh, Sigma Tel. Sigma Tel HD audio codec. And because I can't find a Windows 7 driver for it and have to use uh, the Vista driver, it's just complete shit. So, I don't really uh, need to worry about that that much. Uh, the machine does do well with some, uh, with some stuff. So, I am going to go ahead and... Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a real turn in 2004. I could load that up. That does pretty well. Yeah, right back at you. Oh, my sound's way down. Yeah, the settings are way down on this for whatever reason on audio. There we go. Let's try this. Deathmatch. Sir rules. Let's put ten bots. Specify the number. Let's put the bot skill at masterful. We'll do it on Phobos too. Let's we'll follow one of them around after I get killed. <laughs> Phone's ringing. Oh no, I'm dying. Oh no. Yay, I died. Now, yeah, how do I follow somebody else around? Who the hell? Yeah, that's one fat guy, or I don't even know. I don't even know what the 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 command is. The I, I don't even know. It's usually K, but uh, or something like that. But I can't view anything anymore. Either way, it does it all right. This is on 12 by 800 at like almost full settings, so everything seems to be running okay, sorta. Yay, I got killed again. <laughs> yeah.
Huh. Okay, so that works. And that's the that, that that's pretty much the gist of what I'm going to show here. This does really uh, work really well for something that costed me uh, originally twenty bucks. Uh, so I have no uh, I have no uh, regrets at all that I bought this. Uh, all right. So that concludes this video, I guess. Uh, so if you do happen to find one of these around, and it's in pretty good, uh, decent condition, well, there you go. Just make sure you get a new battery for it. Uh, they go up to 12 cells, and it gives you about a run time of about uh, 6 to 7 hours, which isn't that bad. All right, so that's that. Oh, yeah, that's right. It also has a PC card slot. It does not have Express card. Uh, so... That's the only other drawback. It does have a few other ports over here. VGA, couple USB, 1394. Uh, it does have network and uh, modem. I took the modem out to save power because that does suck up a little bit of power. A couple other USB ports. Uh, another USB port over there and a smart card reader up above. There's a DVD drive. It's actually a DVD burner, not a DVD ROM as the place plate says. Oh yeah, and it also has a multimedia card slot which does take uh, uh, a multi card slot which does take XD cards which I really like because I do have a camera that has XD cards and I don't like to use the stupid reader that I have because it's too slow okay so that concludes this video oh excuse me that concludes this video and uh, well, let's hope more comes alright alright